a uh, presumably a Hoffman vacuum vent testing rig which was uh, given to salesmen to go out in the 1920s to uh, demonstrate the um, uh, effectiveness of the Hoffman vacuum valve. This is number two vacuum valve, uh, dated uh, patent dated 1917, and this is the unit that came with this demonstration piece showing the uh, loving care, which was used to cut it open and showing the the various um, wonderful parts and the complexity of this valve and why it was important. The data we have shows that the number one valve in 1925, which is, this is the Hoffman book, um, with list price was $1.90 each. Again, showing the cutting, cutaway of the valve. The, um, and this is the number two siphon air valve and vacuum valve showing the cutaway that was used for single pipe steam only and it was the same as the number one except that it had two check valves a top and a um, inner check valve as shown here. This originally came with a sterno can. The sterno is uh, old enough that it has patent dates on it from 1917 but in the interests of efficiency, we're going to use a camp stove. We have a open valve here, a siphon valve here, and this was for the um, thermometer. Number two threads in there. I'm going to get rid of the uh, condensables or the non condensables. And the water begins to boil. You can see it through the uh, two ports there. You really drive out the air. A good uh, good head of steam there. We start to shut this uh, Bakelite valve and you'll see some pressure start to be generated on the gauge. And you see that the uh, the number two valve has failed. And does not shut against pressure anymore. As the pressure bleeds away, the check valve will engage. And now we're at about zero pressure. And I'll cool the top. And the system will start to go into a vacuum. And you can start seeing the water boil in the vessel. And we're at about two inches of mercury. and yet we are still generating steam at a lower temperature. There's no heat being added except what's already in the water that we've boiled. I've gotten this thing down as low as 15 inches of mercury on a really tight system and the water continues to boil as the pressure drops as the heat is extracted from the uh, the water this can is approximately four and a half inches in diameter about four inches high and so using some uh, rough calculations, it's about 88 square inches. So if we have 15 inches of uh, mercury vacuum in here, that's a pressure differential from the uh, outside to the inside of about 7 pounds, which means that on this case, 
is exerted a um, differential pressure from the atmosphere of approximately 600 plus pounds. But this thing is extremely well built, it's brass construction, nickel plated. Um, they spent uh, a fair amount of time and effort to get this thing to work. To, uh, to show people, probably the wholesalers and customers, why they should spend more than, than twice the price for an ordinary um, an ordinary uh, steam vent. You can see it is still boiling. When uh, when I got this, the uh, gate the gate the uh, glass was cracked. I had a uh, Pyrex um, blanks added to both sides, and I uh, had custom cut um, some EDPM rubber gaskets. These are removable. Uh, you unthread them, and the uh, whole thing comes apart. And that's how basically how you fill the thing. You see we're down almost uh, to 10 inches of mercury and the water is still boiling. So this was used, This the Hoffman um, slogan was the uh, watchman of the coal pile. This allowed the, uh, when the uh, coal fire burned down to uh, be able to uh, still continue to heat the building with all these uh, vacuum checks. And you see this one is now loose because it's no longer acting as the check valve. The check valve is the um, internal part here. The secondary, the secondary part here. This is the float part which has in, in this particular valve the uh, alcohol uh, water mixture inside is uh, presumably bled away over the century that this thing has been uh, sitting around. You can see now we're down to almost 12 inches and as we drop the pressure there's the water boiling away. Now we stop the water boiling, we introduce the air back into the system 